Hey guys, what's going on? I'm Eric Surf 6. Welcome to the vlog. In today's episode, I'm going to be doing a bus tour around Tokyo. It's a full day tour with the Hato Bus Company. Live young, live young, hit the throttle. Get some, get some, that's the motto. Get some. That's the motto. This is the tour I'm doing right here. It's called Dynamic Tokyo. And they do tours in all languages. Mine's gonna be an English tour for you guys. Let's go check it out. Ooh, the hot dog bus. So the first stop is going to be Tokyo Tower. Oh, it's right there. That's pretty cool. Yeah. And we're going up to that first observatory. Nice. Nice. There's also going to be a tea ceremony, a barbecue lunch. We're going to the Imperial Palace. We're going through Ginza. We're going on a river cruise. And we're going to Japan's oldest Buddhist temple. Yeah, this is going to be great. Awesome. Wow. There it is, it's the Tokyo Sky Tree. I mean, the Tokyo Tower. Not the Sky Tree. Follow her. Our guide is my son. Oh, a lot of people on this tour. There's 20, 24, 25 people on this tour. Can you feel the excitement? Woo, Tokyo Tower. So our guide is getting us some uh, tickets. So apparently I need special permission for shooting video. Everything's so official in Japan. Yeah, got permission, yo. Ooh. Ooh, going up. Oh. <laughs> Tokyo Tower Bus Bulletin 1958. Previous Sunday was a main day which is 150 meter high. It's enjoyed. Thank you so much. 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 Thank you we got him. <laughs> got him. Got the Pikachu. Ooh, nice entrance. Beautiful. Grass hut. Look at this. Love me a Japanese pagoda. That is cool. It's hard to believe that they have such a beautiful greenery spot right in the middle of the city. This is fantastic. Oh, look at all the beautiful koi fish. Wow. Oh, you know what this is? This is the place where you get to play Pokemon Go. Yeah, it's a Pokemon Go stop. It's a Poke stop. How romantic, huh? Look at this. Take a nap right there if you're tired, sleepy. And hang your jacket up right there. We've arrived at the Bonsai Gardens. This is 95 years old. It's 100 years old. 175 years old. Incredible. This type of tree, by the way, it's, it's called matsu, a pine tree. Guess how many years old this tree is? 325. Yes. Yeah. Okay, wait a minute. I'm being told that there's a tree that's 500 years old. Or this one. 500. Yeah, it looks pretty thick. Yeah, see, 525 years. The Eizo Matsu. That's the remarkable thing. There is so much history in Japan. Okay, so here's today's dad joke. Why are fish so smart? Because they always swim around in schools. That's right. Ba -da -ba. It's a jungle, yeah, and it's called the Firefly Stream. So at night, maybe they light up. And again, we're in Tokyo. This is amazing, all this greenery in Tokyo and the city. 
Wow, like red bridges. This is very cool. So over in this little corner of the facility, they've got a waterfall, koi pond, and that's a wedding chapel. You can get married right there. Yeah, there's, there's the wedding chapel right there. Nice hotels work really well for weddings in Tokyo. Mm -hmm. Okay, so the, right, this is not official. Okay, right, this is, we made this, but this is the official. See, it's like YouTube, Eric Surf 6. Yeah, right there. If Eric meal time, I can make a video. This is like hard to get permission, you know? This is good stuff. That's the Amber Seal right there. He stamped it for me. So as you can see, we've just stepped off of the bus and we're going to the Emperor's Palace. You can't get all the way into it. It's only open two days out of the year. And then it's like special tickets and stuff and security, but I'm gonna show you around the, the park area and the samurai, there's a samurai statue here, which is pretty cool. It's a samurai on the horse. I like that, very cool. This is where the shoguns used to live before the emperor, right? This is the place, man. This is their turf. We are at the official entrance to the emperor's palace. That's right, central Tokyo. It's right there. You just go across this bridge. It's a double bridge. It's as close as you can get. It's just, this is pretty sharp. I've never been this close before. wonder if they'll come out and greet us. It's like a fortress, and there's nobody getting inside there. Uh, I don't think it's going to happen today. I have to come back on January 2nd, which is the, the New Year's holidays, or on the Emperor's birthday, which is February 23rd, I want to say. Those are the two days that it's open that they'll, they let you actually in with permission. So anyway, I got pretty close. It's just, his pad is just, it's back over those trees, not that building, but on the other side of that. So double bridges. Okay, got two minutes to catch the bus. These guys don't mess around. If you're like, they just take off and you catch the train home. Got ice cream in hand. The bus is still there, that's good. We got this. So we're backing into the parking spot. We are at the, it says the port. Welcome to the port of Tokyo. We can't ride on the samurai boat because you can't get underneath the bridges. That is a cool looking boat for the Shogun Samurai Warriors. Next stop. Asakusa? It's where they got the biggest Buddha temple in Japan. The oldest Buddha temple. Yeah. And a shopping district with street food. Oh, they got food. Look. Oh. Oh, there's the food. There's the rainbow bridge right there. And there's Fuji television out in the back there with the, the space ball. Cruising in Tokyo Bay. So this is the downstairs. This is kind of cool too. Air conditioned down here. Yeah, down low to the water. I like it down here. I like kind of restaurant bar style. Oh, here's a menu. Get beers. Nacho and dip. Caramel crisp. I think oh, and they got some salami. I think we're going to wait until we get to Asakusa. Yeah. Oh, and here's a map. Here's a map of all the bridges. So you one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. Thirteen bridges to get to Asakusa. And then, the, yeah, this is where we're going here to the Kamenari Mon. Mm -hmm. It's pretty cool. I like these little apartment buildings that are right on the river. Pretty nice. Pretty cool just to live on the water. You just go like jogging along the river. That's Asahi Beer, that building, and then the Sky Tree right above it. That's cool. And this is the very last bridge. And yep, and we'll be docking and getting off the ship. Mm hmm. All right. All right, mission complete. There's the dock. Ready? One, two, and three. That wasn't much of a toss. That was a pleasant trip. Yeah, I enjoyed that. I like getting on the water. We're gonna go to the main gate and then you gotta come back to the bus. All different kinds of, well, and then of course there's the street foods as well too. So you can get uh, kimonos and yukatas. Mm -hmm, very traditional stuff. And then you got like, you know, characters, things like that. So this kind of stuff, but it's character goods. Mm-hmm, traditional goods. 
keychain holders, like, you know, souvenirs for people back at home, okay. mixed in with food yeah. stalls. Yeah, we gotta eat some of that. This will be on the meal time. This stuff's really good. Yeah, everything. And then this is just the beginning of it. There's this whole nother street up here. You got, you got shops on both sides up here. And that goes all the way out. That's like 200 meters worth of shops. It's the sky tree back there. Have I shown you guys the sky tree yet? Like 18 times, right? This is number 19. And there's number 20. Gotta keep following the Pikachu. It's nice, I've got this cool mist coming off of the seat. This is, this is very nice. popular. This is a good model. Oh, look at all the people. Got the rickshaws you can ride on. This is pretty neat. There's the main entrance right there. The largest, oldest Buddha temple in Japan. Also the largest temple in Tokyo. And this place is remarkable. People get all dressed up. You ask the police for directions. You can wear kimonos here. It's quite a scene. Look at that, kimono ladies. Yeah, here we go. This is the entrance. Also photo central. These are the gate guards, so it's the Kaminarimon Gate, which means Thunder Gate. That's right. The original gate was erected in 942, but burned down several times. The most recent one is 1960. It takes forever to get through the shopping arcade, so if you guys want to hurry to the temple, you take this side alley over here on the left. So it's on your right coming down. Now, it's just a nice little shortcut. And there's the main temple. Look at that. There's Omikuji right there, so you can buy fortunes. Mm -hmm. Present them to the gods. Very popular among the Japanese. I'm just gonna give you guys a quick look through. There's the sky tree again. I don't know why they call it the sky tree. It looks more like a tower to me. But whatever, they had a contest and people named it. And Sky Treat was the name that won. The Mikujis here, the Omikujis are bilingual, I think. They come in English as well, too. They must, because there's so many foreigners buying them. So the way it works is you purify yourself with the incense, and then you go up there and uh, make your wish to the gods. There's also different types of stuff here that you can buy, fortune stuff. And over here, wait for it. Where is it? Over here is a beautiful pagoda. Right there, that's the pagoda. That's a, probably the biggest one in Tokyo. Yeah, beautiful. Give you guys a rundown. So this is like the main stuff. And this is main right here. Yeah, where you go and you pray. But yeah, definitely check out Asakusa. That that is the place, right? And once again, the name of it, it's called Senzoji. Okay, so the Kaminaron Gate, that's where you come in. So what kind of drink do you have when you come to a temple? Can you guess? Green tea. You gotta go pure. Mm-hmm. Green tea, the beverage of the gods, and yeah, it's good stuff. See, he's getting the shot. The giant pagoda, it's pretty cool. Yep, it's the one, two, three, four, it's five tiers. So I would like to thank you guys for watching. This has been Eric Vlog Time, and I especially want to thank the Hato Bus Tour Company. They've got several different tours around Japan. And there's an English website down below. You guys can check it out. They're very reasonably priced and very informative tours. I learned so much today about Tokyo that I never had any clue about before. And I've been living in and around the Tokyo area for 20 years. So I would definitely recommend their tours. And I guess that's going to do it for this one. So thank you guys for watching. And if you want to see some of the food, the lunch specifically that we ate, uh, there's a video to it up here and some of the food here around the temple area as well too. Thanks again for watching you guys. Give the video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and we shall see you in the next Eric Mealtime. Eric, out. Get some, get some. Live young, live young, hit the throttle. Get some, get some, that's the motto. Get some. That's the motto. Make sure you sub Eric Surf 6. Sub Eric Surf 6. Hey, thanks for making it all the way to my end screen. So now what? Well, click around, watch a few more videos. How about checking out my Patreon account? Links are all right there on the screen. Cheers and beers, team. Get some. <laughs>